Kandagawa Jet Girls. I bet none of you have seen anybody do a platinum video on this before. Yeah? Well, it's no surprise, because not only is this game pretty trash, it's really repetitive, and the platinum trophy is super, super easy. So, Kandagawa Jet Girls is a jet ski racing game, with guns, boosts, and the ability to do tricks, etc. And to highlight just how easy this platinum is, I'd earned 20% of the trophies before I'd even done a single race. As soon as I booted up the game, I jumped straight into the customization and minigame section and began ticking the trophies off, one after the other. So straight into it, the first trophy I got was I like this look, for customizing a character. Then from there, I customized the jet ski and followed that up by equipping a jet ski machine part. Three trophies, just like that. I then went into the minigame section to have a look at what they were like and I rightfully assumed there would be some trophies linked to these as well. So the first minigame was Jet Machine Cleaning, where I had to follow the inputs on screen and every so often button bash to achieve a high combo with extra points. For achieving at least a B rank on this, I got the trophy My Precious Partner. I then unlocked Hard Mode and did the exact same minigame and for achieving over 81,000 points, I got the trophy, Extracurricular Expert. The next mini game was called Mopping, and it's pretty self-explanatory. I just had to move left and right while the character runs forward, mopping up puddles of water and avoiding the cones. And for getting at least a B rank, I got the trophy, Community Service. Another mini game? This one was called Treadmill Run, where I had to make sure my character didn't fall off the treadmill while collecting hearts, and once again, for achieving at least a B rank, there was another trophy. This one called Treading Lightly. And then lastly, the final trophy for the minigames, I went into the minigame called Aerials, and in this game I had to go through as many rings on the jet ski while also performing tricks. As this was the first time I'd tried the actual gameplay, I got seriously scared, as the controls were horrendous. But again, for getting at least a B rank, I got the trophy, Secret Training. Then, with all the points that I'd accumulated from completing the minigames, I went on a bit of a shopping spree, and the trophies just kept popping at almost every purchase. So the trophies I got, shopping trip for purchasing a costume, totally styling for purchasing a hairstyle, accessorizer for purchasing an accessory, customizer for purchasing a machine part, machine makeover for purchasing a skin for the jet ski, where should this go for purchasing a decal, and let's make it sparkle for purchasing an effect, again, for the jet ski. I then went into the tutorial in the hope that it would explain why the steering of the jet ski felt so awful during the one minigame. After going through each of the tutorials explaining all the basic functions and how to use different weapons and such, we got the trophy, next time it's for keeps, and also hit that 30% mark before even doing a single race. So on to the story mode now, and there's only one option available at this time. Now usually with my videos, I like to explain exactly what's going on with the story, but it took me about three chapters of crappy dialogue for me to completely give up on attempting that, and just concentrate on the racing. So, for completing the first chapter of this story, we got the trophy, let's have a jet race club. This was pretty much all there was to each chapter. A little bit of dialogue, followed by a reason to race, and with the exception of the odd couple, none of them really gave me any trouble. During the second chapter, I got the trophy Trickster for performing my 10th trick while racing, and then during the third chapter, 
I then got the trophy drifting away for maxing out my drift boost. I then continued to clear each chapter as I worked my way through the first story arc, being mindful that at the end of each race there were a number of missions which if fully completed would reward a cosmetic. The rewards were not important or useful but I knew there was a trophy for completing a set number of them. I was also aiming to get a triple S rank for each race which became a lot easier with upgrades later on as that was also linked to a trophy. I got to the end of the first story arc and for completing that specific arc I got the trophy Our Next Objective. Once that first story was completed, the game unlocked two more stories following different sets of characters. Different story, same old crappy dialogue, followed by a reason to race. Literally things like, Oh no, that girl looked at me weird and now I'm feeling self-conscious. I think I need to race. <clears throat> Let's uh, never speak of that again, shall we? Uh, anyway, so the next trophy I unlocked was for getting my 8th triple S rank for the trophy Race Ace. Then it was just a case of completing this second story arc and once again after around 10 chapters I finished the final race of the last chapter and got the trophy. Our club is only just beginning. With two stories completed, I'd earned quite a lot of points that I could use in the store, and also unlocked a number of upgrades that I could then fit onto the jet ski. For upgrading five of the same type of acceleration filters, I got the trophy Dashing Through the Surf. Then, with all those new acceleration upgrades installed onto my jet ski, I went into the third story arc and flew through all the chapters. For completing this specific story arc, I got the trophy, Idle Hands. You know when I was talking about learning the different weapons during the tutorial? Well, if you get the full boost and then pick up a weapon, you can do a special ability. The thing that's a shame with this game is that the AI is so slow that you never really get chance to use these abilities on any of the other races. Thankfully I didn't have to hit anybody and for using a special ability 50 times I got the trophy Specialist. Then as I finished the same race I also got the trophy Mission Veteran for completing 64 of the mission objectives. The next three trophies were all story related, just like before, simply for completing each story arc. Complete the ten or so chapters on each one and the trophy would pop. So we've got Ninja Gaijin, followed by Cool Rivers Hot Races, and then Joined at the Hip. With those three story arcs completed, it then unlocked another one. This one was slightly different to the rest, as all the characters were linked in some way or another. These new characters were like cyborgs from another planet, and their only reason for racing was to infill despair on the others. For completing all the chapters and the arc, I got the trophy, Just Keep Winning. And because I'd also completed my 128th mission, I also got the trophy, Mission Master. This then unlocked one last story arc, where we would take control of some of the original races against the new cyborg characters. 
in order to beat them and prove that old, the bond of friendship, <laughs> helps us to defeat our newest arrivals and teach them that it's not all about winning. Yeah, well, for doing that, we earn the trophy, riding towards a shining future. Just like earlier with the acceleration filters, I also had to purchase and equip five types of handling hydraulic cylinders and high output batteries for the jet ski. For doing both of those, I got the trophies Handles Like a Dream and World Changing Speed. With those two done, all that was left between me and the Platinum Trophy was the time trials. Usually, when it comes to racing games, the time trials are where I fall flat and struggle, but I didn't fail a single one. They were ridiculously easy, and there was a trophy for each of the different levels. Now, I'm not going to pronounce the names, but I'll just let them pop in order of appearance. The final time trial was the only level I had any issues with, but it wasn't because of the time itself, but more just because the track was absolutely awful. Regardless, the time trial was complete, the trophy popped, and then I got my Platinum Trophy.